I'm very appreciative of the commission that we're having this collective discourse about a very important topic, um, raising the minimum wage to a rate that is fair and that uh, allows workers to live a life of dignity. The Fair Wages Commission is working independently on how to get minimum wage to $15 an hour and people from the community address the commission on Tuesday afternoon. Basically, there's three main points that I'll be making. The first is that um, we establish a minimum wage of $15 by January of 2019. Um, the second is that um, there is one minimum wage for all workers, so there's no differentiation or distinguishment between workers in different fields. And finally, that the Commission um, continues to stick around even after this process is done. They've gained a lot of valuable knowledge throughout this process and um, it would be great, I mean, as, as times economics uh, change, um, it, it's great to have people to continue to advise and, and bring all of this knowledge forward and continue to, um, to make evidence-based decisions on uh, a fair wage for workers. One in five children in BC are living in poverty. This number has not moved in 20 years. Uh, of course, a big reason for this is that many of these children's parents are not making enough money despite working, many working full time. So this is a profound but avoidable tragedy. Ensuring that all jobs pay wages above the poverty line would allow better uh, would, al would better allow Indigenous people to save money to complete or start education, provide more for their families, and help ensure that they can cover the high costs of living in this province. The commission first stopped in Abbotsford and Nanaimo. Now they're headed to Vancouver after Kelowna. For Castanet News, I'm Madison Earhart in Kelowna. Looking for a new ride? Click our Auto Mall in the Yellow Masthead for a huge selection of car dealers from throughout the valley. <laughs> 